My name is Eric Alper, and I am the owner of Eric Alper PR. I was the director of media relations and label acquisitions for a very large record label and distribution company called Entertainment One. I handle the public relations and media relations for artists such as Bruce Coburn, uh, 5440, um, Sash Jordan, and about 85 other ones that I can really never remember. And I've been doing PR for almost 25 years, which means I started when I was five. My grandfather had a bar in Toronto called Grossman's Tavern, and it's on Spadina Avenue, and music was always in our house. For some reason, music kind of hit me like a nerve. It was really teaching me a lot more than what the classroom was. When I went to university, I worked at the campus newspaper there and the radio station there and loved it. And I had a my shift of the radio station was like three o'clock to four o'clock in the morning when nobody was listening. I mean, I would give away a thousand dollars on air just to anybody that was awake that called and nobody ever did. I started a record label just after university. And then I realized that without bookings and without getting gigs for these bands, nobody would come and buy the records. I worked for a small label at the time um, called Shoreline Records, and they had three artists. They had the Nylons, which was a a cappella band. They had Patricia Conroy, who was a country artist, and a brand new band that just put out an EP called Nickelback. And it was the time when Chad, the lead singer's mother, was calling up all the radio stations herself, badgering them, wondering why they're not playing her son's band. You just have a, a, a passion about it and a mindset for it. You know, like, you know, like this, like the Breakfast Club. You know, most people just go, oh yeah, you know what? It's just like a, it's just a vinyl record. You know, yeah, it was a good song. I liked it in high school, or whatever. But like, Simple Mind, Don't You Forget About Me, which was the lead single off of it. It was written by Keith Forsey, and Keith wrote this song and they shipped it out to all of these different bands, Billy Idol, the, the Psychedelic Furs, and nobody thought that the single was great. And so eventually it got to this band Simple Mind. So they recorded it and at the last part of the song where Jim Kerr, the lead singer, you know, sings la 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 la, he, he just used it as a placeholder for, for lyrics because he didn't know what else to sing. And they promptly forgot about it. And then it was on the Breakfast Club soundtrack. It sold 22 million copies around the world and it created this band. That's the shit that I know. That's the passion. That's the stories behind that. And so when I tell you about that story, about the Breakfast Club, it tells me about opportunity. It tells me about the biggest hit singles from Taylor Swift aren't always what they seem. Do you want to become great? Very simple. You just write the best song that anybody's ever heard. You want to be a YouTube star? Amazing. You go compete with OK Go when it comes to videos. But if you want to be great, and if you want to build a career, and you want to be remembered long after you're here, just write the best song that anybody's ever heard. Easier said than done but it's all about practice. You know, when it comes to social media, it's a great ability and a great responsibility to be able to talk to your fans directly. Think about your favorite band that you love. Somebody like a Taylor Swift, for instance, you know who she hangs out with, you know who her her squad is. All of those things I know through social media. Now you have to post like once a day, twice a day, three times a day. The days that you're not posting, nobody's thinking about you. It's really important for musicians to have a voice. You have something to say, say it. If you want to really build up a following and you're unknown, you have to tweet and post really great content and then everything else will come. Having a lot of followers doesn't always equate to success. You know, you just got to do it on your own terms, but you have to go out there and do it.